Hi there, this is Ravi and I will be briefing on Salesforce Picklist Transformation. The agenda of the presentation would include an overview of Salesforce Picklist Transformation with a mention on involved ports and rules and guidelines. It would also include a demonstration of an implementation using Salesforce Picklist Transformation. Salesforce picklist transformation essentially retrieves a list of picklist values for a picklist field in a Salesforce object. A Salesforce picklist is a list of valid values corresponding to a Salesforce picklist field. This could help in validating the source data that to be loaded into the Salesforce picklist field. A Salesforce picklist transformation is a passive transformation which can be created over a standard or a custom Salesforce object which is accessible by the user credentials with which uh, Salesforce servers are, servers are connected to. So essentially this, the picklist would output a column separated list of valid values for the picklist fields which are through the output ports of the transformation. However, the picklist transformation does not require an input for delivering its functionality. Hence, a default input port is created so that it can be connected to an upstream transformation to complete the mapping pipeline. This field is called as picklist underscore input port so that the mapping pipeline can be completed. Other than the picklist input port and the output ports which would get the required picklist values, we can also create what are called as pass-through ports so that fields from the upstream transformation can be transferred to the lower stream transformation without any changes. We will have a look at the demonstration as to how to implement this in a mapping. So this is a mapping designer. We can go ahead and click on transformation and select create so that the Salesforce picklist transformation can be selected and an appropriate name can be given so that it comes up with the u user interface to give the credentials and for selecting required Salesforce objects. Salesforce object account has been selected for such an op import operation in this case and we see that the default field picklist underscore input has been created by default so that it can be connected to the upstream transformations to complete the mapping pipeline. However, in case there are any pass-through ports which need to be coming from the upstream, they can be used as well for the completing the pipeline. Besides this set of fields, we also see output ports like type, industry, ownership and so on, which are essentially picklist fields of account Salesforce object. Once done, we can connect this to the downstream transformations and eventually to the target so that these fields are passed down and populated accordingly. Let's run the associated session. And go to the output of it. Alright, let's look at the output. We see that the output contains the header entry, which is type, industry, ownership, and so on. So for the type, we see that the possible picklist values which are valid are prospect, 
customer direct customer channel and so on with the values delimited by a column we have seen and heard on how to create and configure a Salesforce picklist transformation to be able to fetch valid picklist values from corresponding Salesforce object. The associated rules or guidelines are that the default length for such picklist polls is 512 characters. So if the length exceeds for certain picklist ports this can be altered accordingly to increase or decrease to be able to fit the requirement or, or the existing picklist valid ports at least one input port should be connected to the salesforce picklist transformation you can make use of the default picklist underscore input port for this you, you can always uh, use uh, create and use pass through ports for this purpose as well restricted picklist values do not get retrieved because they are blocked at the salesforce server end likewise the salesforce picklist transformation does not retrieve multi-select picklists That completes the discussion on the Salesforce picklist transformation. We would love to hear from you. Please do give us the feedback on the mentioned channels. Thank you.